when i posted a uh, lot of videos about my uh, freenas build uh, often uh, i do get uh, queries uh, from uh, sys admins uh, mentioning why don't i buy uh, freenas uh, mini excel or you know some uh, ready uh, made uh, product like that so the issue in uh, india is uh, usually you get hardware uh, uh, you know uh, around 30% more expensive than uh, the similar specs uh, what you get in us because uh, you get this uh, government tax and other stuff uh, so that's the situation so when you buy any nas hard drives uh, typically you need to shell out uh, if it costs around 100 bucks in uh, uh, us 100 uh, us dollars uh, then you need to shell around 130 dollars to 150 dollars sometimes it's even 50 percent so when i compare uh, freenas uh, mini like you see here uh, this is uh, quoted around uh, uh, 153 159 uh, rupees uh, so we call it as uh, 1 lakh and 53000 something like that so uh, it's around 153000 indian rupees uh, versus if you convert uh, uh, i mean if you check the same one uh, in amazon.com you can see it it is retailing around 999 usd so it's uh, around 65 rupees is going to be for every dollar so 999 into 65 it should typically cost around 65000 something in that range but uh, as you can see here it is almost uh, you know <laughs> you know triple that amount so this is the kind of weird thing happens with you know happening with the freenas hardware i'm not sure what is the supply chain and who is uh, importing and uh, distributing here and stuff of course there is one more option uh, you can buy in uh, us uh, uh, i mean amazon.com and then you can uh, mention ship to india and uh, stuff like that there is also an option available but on the other side if you see any indian uh, you know vendors or the suppliers uh, they you know sell at this ridiculous prices and note this is not including the discs <laughs> okay and if you compare here the dell uh, power edge this is hardly around a thousand bucks and uh, you can make this into a fantastic uh, free nas server rather than uh, getting any you know uh, pre-built hardware like this yes it is not for everyone uh, who is not into it and stuff uh, you know uh, like a commercial uh, I mean like a you know a household use or something but having said you have this type of you know <laughs> disparity in pricing uh, I'm not sure what is this uh, is causing so this is uh, if I roughly translate okay 153 uh, 159 divided by 65 uh, it comes to around 2300 dollars it's such a ridiculous expensive thing uh, in India, I'm not really sure what is happening with you know freeness. So you can see there it's the same uh, hardware. You can see here versus you can see here. It's just same thing, but it is pretty expensive. And uh, I'm not sure about uh, these other models uh, like this eight bay ones and stuff. I never seen them much uh, uh, anywhere posted in uh, Indian uh, websites actually. So other than that, you can see here this is that uh, you know freeness L2 arc disc. I am really not sure what is this ridiculous pricing once again okay so it's very expensive <laughs> and so uh, this is the issue I mean uh, in general the hardware is uh, very expensive in India it's not like US or Canada and uh, even you can see here uh, these uh, NAS hard drives are quite expensive this is 5 TB drive it is so and so it is almost uh, you know 500 dollars <laughs> nearby or else maybe 400 or something so it is quite expensive any nas drives so it makes sense uh, to build ourselves so if we have that know-how and uh, you know um, some expertise and common sense <laughs> of course uh, i do see uh, people when they do uh, their uh, build uh, doing some silly mistakes okay so it's it's just uh, if you know how to build your computer hardware then it is uh, fairly simple to do that so it's uh, better as of now to do a build like that ourselves especially in a situation like mine okay so other than that i'm fine with that uh, i do get often uh, some uh, issues here and there but uh, i generally tend to administrate uh, proactively before i hit upon any issues and as i discussed recently i have even uh, uh, you know replaced that usb drive operating system drive with them uh you know disk based hard drive and uh, it's now very stable and it works fine okay 
uh, and uh, you know recently they announced uh, this uh, AFS uh, and stuff like that all flash uh, SSDs uh, SSD based uh, free NAS server it's a step in the right direction because uh, when we get uh, a solution like this uh, we may not sometimes need any more uh, you know the SSD cache and uh, stuff like that uh, you know we don't need any more uh, you know uh, that SSD cache uh, where is it yeah something like this we don't need uh, you know um, uh, SSD cache uh, like this L2 arc or Zill and uh, stuff like that because uh, you know all fresh array is anyway going to be fast and uh, if you put uh, ZFS on top of it it is going to provide a good you know performance uh, and one more thing uh, before I conclude uh, there are also questions I got why not uh, use this and that and stuff like I mentioned open media vault uh, as far as I have done the tests it is not something adequate I didn't find it uh, it is uh, anywhere near production ready uh, if i do simulations like disk failure and stuff it is not you know showing properly and uh, this is not my opinion you can do yourself and you can conclude and other than that when i tested unread the issue is uh, when it is uh, building uh, you know uh, uh, you know the checksum or whatever whenever it does that with that parity i mean to say the parity and uh, whenever it is doing that in that process if power goes off and you need to interrupt and then you need to restore something again it is going to do from the beginning and this is not uh, feasible especially for uh, customers like this country because uh, when you have any power failure usually there will be power outages so you can run the systems on the UPS for few minutes but you know you cannot bridge gap between several hours of you know downtime actually so sometimes whenever that thing happens uh, it's just not uh, feasible and uh, it is completely ruled out and uh, same issue i am facing with this uh, netgear as well if there is any disk upgrade if there is anything like that uh, even if i do a scrub it takes several hours and if i do especially a disk upgrade it does that rebuild resyncing process for you know several hours so days together okay so that kind of takes away <laughs> that feasibility so i'm using currently the old netgear as uh, just my you know mirror uh, uh, you know uh, storage so that i can do an rsync and pull whatever in my main server you know to that as uh, you know a secondary backup so it's working fine and uh, i don't have issues at this point of time but other than that uh, when i check uh, this type of feasibility i find uh, freenas is or zfs is uh, you know uh, is the actual uh, thing which suits all these requirements except uh, i thought even uh, buying this uh, freenas hardware but i don't know what is the issue with this you know intermediate supply chain and who is importing and what is happening actually this is something i have discussed with chris as well i'm not sure what is that uh, company folks are looking into okay so uh, so this is the thing i mean we have a lot of uh, con user base over here and uh, people are taking uh, you know youtube videos and uh, stuff like that they are aware of such things and you do have a lot of market uh, potential over here but uh, you know this is what is happening so it it kind of makes sense uh, anyone who is new better they buy synology or something and use this uh, consumer grade uh, you know nas solutions uh, and if not uh, guys like me the better option is to build ourselves uh, and only obstacle we get is uh, to find a right case with as many drives as possible so i had a tough time getting a case with you know more number of hard drive slots again this is another market which is not good over here sometimes you get uh, you know over the budget uh, cases uh, over here which is dirt cheap in some other you know country actually so this is the thing so yeah i uh, hope uh, this addresses your question and um, i be in touch uh, in general with the folks i i do generally discuss about a few things uh, but other than that uh, in my situation i need to self build and uh, it of course uh, is a good experience you learn many things in that process and i like uh, even uh, doing things like that so <laughs> it's fine actually okay so it's it's a uh, nice i i can uh, see the potential with this uh, new uh you know hardware offering 
and uh, yeah like i said uh, if it is uh, the main primary storage uh, you build with uh, ssds uh, then uh, it opens up a lot of new possibilities you don't need to worry about uh, you know excessive memory and other stuff sometimes uh, whatever you pull on the fly from that hard drives or ssds is more than enough to capture that saturate that uh, in home uh, give up it uh, network ports i mean to say let it be 10 gig or 40 gig whatever it is okay so i feel it's a step in the right direction i feel uh, this also is going to change this form factor forever maybe we may find uh, down the lane after 5 or 10 years uh, the you know 3 and 1/2 inch hard drives itself may be obsolete who knows uh, like what happened to the floppy drives who knows actually so it's a step in the right direction but uh, as of now still it makes sense uh, for many users to do some kind of a self build rather than uh, buy any you know ready made uh, solution like that although it is well put together and i do appreciate that it has a good motherboard processor and even it has ecc ram and stuff it is worth uh, to spend money something like this having said if it is somewhere around uh, at this you know price range <laughs> okay or at this price range for this 8 pay drive uh, version okay it really makes sense for whatever the specs uh, they have put across uh, but not uh, going to happen elsewhere as long as they don't address this you know issues okay